everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we are taking a closer look at the new NYX Highlight and Contour Cream Pro Palette. If you're thinking this looks familiar, then you are right because NYX already has a palette like this containing only powder products, but this new one is only cream products. In the new Cream Highlight and Contour Cream Palette, you get your four contour shades and your three highlight shades plus a shimmery highlight. The packaging between the two products is quite similar, however the cream products now have a white background which is very good because now we can distinguish that the products on the white background are cream and the products on the black background are powders. The names of the shades are also the same and they are written on the back of the two palettes. Now first things first, when I saw this cream palette coming out I instantly wanted to know how the cream palette compares to the powder palette so let's take a look at some side-by-side -side swatches. As you can see the highlight shades are a pretty accurate match except for the shade Nectar. The cream shade is quite a bit lighter than the powder which suits me fine as I really don't have any use for the powder shade. Honestly, I am not a fan of these three highlight shades because they look really horrible underneath my eyes and they do tend to break up my concealer and foundation underneath. The shimmery highlight though is absolutely amazing. The combination between powder and cream highlight is absolutely blinding, which I will show later in the demo. Now let's look at the swatches for the contour bronzer shades. The shades are looking actually very similar in the swatches with the exception of toffee. The cream seems to be much more darker than the powder shade. The contour shades I actually really like. They are very blendable and also buildable, which means that you can go from a light bronzy look to a very deep kind of contoured look very easily. My favorite shades in both of the palettes would be a Sculpt, which is the most cool toned bronzer, and also Tan, which is a more a kind of bronzery shade. Let me actually walk you through how I applied everything on my face and which of these products I am actually wearing. I already had foundation on. This is the Benefits Hello Flawless foundation in Give Me Money Honey, I believe the shade name is called. I'll link it down below anyway. Then I used Soft Light from the cream palette, which is the lightest shade, and I applied it underneath my right eye area and I blended it out with my finger. It is brightening, but definitely does not double as a concealer. Its texture is too light for that. For comparison, I used the shade Nectar under the left eye. Same situation here. It is brightening, but does not cover much. I am showing you some close-ups of my under eye area, and as you can see, it does not look very smooth. And as the day goes on, it will start to break up your foundation and concealer underneath. I did not use concealer underneath my eyes today because I just wanted to show you how the products uh, look on their own. But if you are going to use this palette, I would definitely recommend using a separate concealer underneath before you put those uh, cream highlights on top. I also used the more yellowy shade called cream to highlight other parts of the face. Then moving on to contouring, I used my favorite shade Sculpt, which is the most cool tone shade in the palette, and blended it over my cheeks. Notice I did not go for a hard contour, I just wanted to bronze up the face. For the forehead I used the shade Toffee, which is darker and warmer, and I did pick up quite a lot on my fingers, but thankfully these blend out really well. I like to use a mixture of sponge and fingers for blending, that's just my preference. I did use a tiny bit of the shade tan on my nose, however generally I would not contour my nose as it is small enough. Usually people like to contour their nose to make it look smaller. After the contour shades I went ahead and used the highlight shade which is called Ice Queen and I just dabbed it over my cheeks with my finger. That is my preferred method of using these cream products. Not that I didn't like the cream products on their own, I mean they gave me a nice radiant glowy healthy look, but I just didn't feel safe with cream products only. What I mean by that is that cream products on their own don't tend to last as long and they tend to slide off your face. I mean I'm just talking about my personal experience, even looking at the um, viewfinder now my face looks proper oily and I did actually set the cream products with powder as I will show you now, but still I look very very dewy. And usually I do like the dewy look, but this just kind of looks a bit greasy. 
Moving on, what I did after applying the cream products, I went ahead and set everything with the powder products from the first NYX Highlight and Contour Pro palette. You do not have to use these palettes together. You can use the creams with any kind of powders you already have. I thought it would be interesting to see how these palettes pair with each other. Anyway, I used this soft powder highlight shade to set underneath my eye area. And in my opinion, this powder just made everything look worse. I am also not a fan of the highlight shades in the powder palette. I did use the yellowish shade called cream on my um, forehead and on other areas of the face just to set it a little bit. I also tried to tidy up the contour on my cheeks a tiny bit with the shade called cream. I think for correcting, them lighter shades are fine, but for the under eye, they are not great. I also went ahead and topped up the cream contour shades with the exact same shades from the powder palette. So I used Sculpt on the cheek and I also used Tan on the forehead. The combination of cream and powder products does make it look a little bit more intense, but you are guaranteed to have longer staying power if you do it this way. I also topped up the cream highlight with the powder highlight. The name was Ice Queen and in my opinion that is a very fitting name. The combination of the two highlights is blinding. I love it. The highlighters are amazing. You can see that I applied a little bit too much there but you can blend it out and it is absolutely stunning. In addition, today I used the powder palette as my eyeshadow as well. I used the shade cream on the lid as an all over no color color as I usually do. And then I used my favorite color sculpt in the crease area and then a little bit of hollow on the outer corner of my eye. To finish, I used again Ice Queen all over the lid and I also used it as a brow bone highlight. Later, I also used the color Sculpt underneath my lower lash line. I want to touch on the wear time and longevity a little bit more regarding the cream palette. I have tried to wear the cream products on their own, but it just doesn't work for me. When I accidentally touch my face, the contour will be completely gone. Also, the more I wear these three highlight shades underneath my eyes, the more they break up my foundation. I'm gonna try zoom you in closer. I've had this makeup on for about three hours now and it's already starting to look really weird. I hope you can see what I mean. Just here, it does not look nice and it, the pores are very visible as well. Not to mention my nose, everything seems to slide off my nose really easily. I definitely wouldn't recommend using the cream highlight shades underneath the eye. If you do want to really use them, you can just use them to brighten up the forehead area or the chin or just to clean up your contour. For that, they do work, but just underneath the eyes, for me, they do not look good. Now, because of that, the sad thing is that I can really use 60% of this palette. I mean, I like the contour shades and I love the shimmery highlight Ice Queen, but these shades, they are completely useless to me. Having said that, silver lining, these pans do come out. So they are removable. I really have trouble removing these. Ah, there we go. So they are removable and on NYX's website you can buy an empty palette like this and choose the colors that you like. So instead of maybe picking up all three of these highlight shades, you can just make a full palette of contour shades. And for the people who feel really courageous, you can mix and match your creams and powders, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because the powder would get into your cream and mess these up. I was just on NYX's website and uh, not only do they have refills for all of these shades, they also have brand new shades. So if you didn't find shades that you like in this one, then you can pick up the singles on the website. I believe the uh, palette itself is about $15 and the refills are five. Um, I just need to check how much that is in euros. But yeah, definitely in dollars. The empty palette is 15 and the refills are five. I got this palette for 23 euro and do you really need it? Especially if you already have the powder palette from NYX. I can't really give a definitive yes or no answer. I know, real helpful, right? But you have to look at your own needs. If you're big into cream contouring, yes, definitely check it out. However, bear in mind, if you have 
darker skin tone than me that these shades are completely unusable for you. Same as with the powder palette. It's not really catered for someone with really dark skin tone. But again, this is a customizable palette so you can pick up any shades you like and make your own palette. For this specific one, as mentioned earlier, I can only use, you know, about 60% of the palette. If you're not into cream contouring, then no, definitely don't bother with it. Me, I am a makeup collector and when I saw this, I just had to buy it, so I don't regret buying this. But is it something that you really, really need? No, it's, it's more something that you want. That's just my two cents on it. God, I am just so, so shiny. I tried to use the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray that they have, but that didn't help me either. I really, really want to get my Laura Mercier setting powder and just set my whole face. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have tried the new NYX Highlight and Contour Cream Pro Palette, let me know in the comments. I would like to know. As always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.